so today we're going to talk about uh, inf uh, geometric series, adding up uh, geometric series, and uh, sort of a little warm-up question for you to think about is what is this infinite sum? So 1 plus a half plus a fourth plus an eighth plus a sixteenth and so on. And so hopefully you can see that is a geometric series uh, multiplying by the common ratio of one half each time. So pause the video, have a quick discussion with your neighbors. What do you think that is? And why, of course, if you continue doing that forever, you're going to add up infinitely many terms. So pause the video and have a quick conversation. Okay, well, of course, I'm not going to tell you the answer right now, but instead let's try and build up and, and figure it out. So we're trying to find a sum of a geometric series, and so instead of going to infinite right away, I'm just going to add up the first n terms. Remember this uh, notation, s sub n. And remember, if I start with a sub 1, then I keep multiplying by r in a geometric, and to get to the nth term, the exponent's only n minus 1. So I'm sort of lagging one behind. So there's sort of a nifty trick for adding these up, and the trick is if I take that whole sum and multiply by r, everything's going to get an extra r now. So a sub 1 is going to have an r by it, so this is going to get multiplied and end up over here. Uh, a sub 1 times r will now be a sub 1 times r squared, right? That goes over there, and so on. And so we end up with all these, and then this one uh, now does have an exponent of n, right? So everything I multiplied by r, the power of r went up by 1 each time. And um, why does this help me? Well, it helps me because now both of these lists have basically the same things in them. And so if I subtract on the left-hand side, I'm going to have that sum, which I want, minus r times the sum. And on the left side, I get a bunch of, bunch of canceling. There's nothing to cancel the a sub 1 out, so I'm going to get a sub 1. But then these two are going to cancel when I subtract. These two are going to cancel. This one has something up here that's going to cancel it. This one has something down here that's going to cancel it. But this one doesn't have uh, a matching one up above because uh, we had stopped at n minus 1. We were subtracting this line, so it's minus a sub 1 r to the n. Right? And what am I trying to do? I'm trying to solve for s sub n, and so I'm going to factor that s sub n out, right? pulling that common factor out. And then I'm going to divide by 1 minus r, right? And so when I divide by 1 minus r on both sides, I'm left with s sub n. And so the sum of a geometric series formula is given by this. And for some reason, I think we decided to be super nice to you, and we're going to say you don't have to memorize that one. Um, hopefully you can memorize it without too much trouble, but uh, you do need to know how to use it, and so you should make sure you, you get it in your notes. Um, so you can pause here and see if you have any questions or anything like that, and then um, we'll do a couple examples.